Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Outlaws Unleashed 3, and we are kicking today's event off with a eight-man, I was about to say six-man, over-the-top rope battle royale. We've got the champion, Daniel Kaiser. We've got Whammy Time, Fatui, Christopher Brady, Lance Latham, Human Metal, Michael Huber, and Dark Saber all in this matchup. Fatui and Whammy fighting it out. Huber and Human Metal and Lance now trying to eliminate Christopher, but Christopher holding on for dear life now. Oh, oh no, he held on. Lance still trying to push him out of the ring though. Oh, massive knee from Whammy to Fatui there. Now Whammy with a shot in at Lance. And now <laughs> leaves Christopher open to take him down with a Hurricane Rana. Huber. Managing to escape the grasp of human metal there over on the other side. And Darksaber with the champion up on his shoulders. Oh my god! Playing some hard in the ring. Fatui on the ropes. And Whammy time eliminates Fatui from the ring. We are down to seven now. And Huber, folks, with pure strength taking down Whammy time. Whammy, though, takes him down. DK trying to eliminate Darksaber. Can Darksaber hold on? Yes, he does with a massive punch. And Lance hunting in the middle of the ring. Not a good idea. And a back body drop there to the champion. And look at Huber, folks. With whammy. Good God, the Shenmue drop on the big man. And now Lance trying to eliminate Daniel Kaiser down in the bottom right. And there goes Human Metal! Dark Saber folks use the uh, Human Metal's own momentum against him. And there goes Dark Saber eliminated by Michael Huber. We are down to five now. Huber with a suplex on to Christopher. Lance with an Inzaguri to DK. DK using the ropes trying to get into the corner and take his way back up. Lance bringing Whammy back into the ring. Oh, but Whammy now! Whammy sending Lance into the corner, but Lance recovered in time. Went for a scoop slam, broken up by Christopher. And now Christopher! Oh my god! Two knees right to the gut of Lance Latham. Christopher picking up Whammy. Goes for a scoop slam. Whammy gets in and oh, an elbow bust open. Whammy time there. An elbow from Christopher. And there goes Huber eliminated by Daniel Kaiser in a sun slip, sun flip power bomb from Christopher to Whammy time. I need to slow down folks. I'm just so excited. Oh, I think reality just broke there for a uh, split second. DK gets a Russian leg sweep there from Whammy time. And Lance with a clothesline to the back of the head of Christopher. And Christopher rolling folks to the apron edge, trying to recover, but Whammy picks him back up. And Christopher takes down Whammy Time with a crossbody. And Christopher taunting, folks. I don't know if that's the best idea in this type of matchup. But we are down to the final four here. One of these men will walk away. The war champion will be Daniel Kaiser. Can he copy the success? of ECW Games, the only person to win four war championship matches in a row. The third one, which was a eight-man over the top row, Battle Royale. Whammy now in the corner. Get out of it. DK focusing though on Christopher. Shot to the gut. And now Daniel Kaiser. Oh, massive power bomb. Whammy knocked again into the corner now. And DK with a clothesline to send Whammy over. And we are down to three. DK now with Christopher. Putting Christopher against the ropes. And the clothesline eliminates Christopher. We are down to two. Daniel Kaiser and Lance Latham. The first man to enter the ring here tonight. And the final man to enter the ring here for this first matchup. Oh, and Lance, folks, sizing up DK. Oh, big elbow right to the top of the head. And Lance Hill grabbing DK. Oh my god, folks, he's putting him against the ropes. What is Lance? Oh no. Lance Latham picking DK up. 
and up. Power bomb right out of the ring, folks. Your winner. They even put the graphics up before DK even hit the floor. It's Lance Latham, your new war champion. And we'll be right back with our next matchup to crown a new legendary champion. to crown a new legendary champion of course Israel Pacheco vacated the title using option C to insert himself in tonight's main event OGW World Championship match and folks many many would say that this match right here between Lauren Baumgarten and Tokyo Choo Choo is a match two years in the making since back in season one folks Lauren Baumgarten was the Friday Night Fight Champion. We didn't have the OGW World Championship then. The FNF title was the main title. 
And uh, Tokyo Choo Choo was the one to take it away from him. And Choo Choo went on, folks, to defend that title for weeks on end before losing it in the Elimination Chamber match at Glitchamania, the first Glitchamania. Lauren now bringing a sledgehammer into the ring and following Choo Choo back in. Choo Choo stabbing right into the gut of Lauren. They're throwing Lauren right into the steel ring steps. Or I should say our golden steps for tonight. And Lauren fighting back and you know folks, Lauren over the years here in OGW has gotten revenge on Choo Choo and there! Lauren takes him there. I thought we went for a Lauren press there. A bomb garden press, but no, he did not. And slams him down into the ring floor. But how sweet would it be here tonight, folks, for Lauren to win the legendary championship over Choo Choo? And oh my god, just ramming Choo Choo's spine into the apron, folks, the hardest part of the ring. And again, just using that pure power of the L train. Takes in Choo Choo, but Choo Choo back up and takes in the name of the Dragon Whip. But Lauren continues the fight back and another ram right into the apron. Folks, I tell you, Choo Choo's been taking some early punishment here to the back. And if Lauren can get off the Hebrew hammer, folks, I don't know if Choo Choo could survive it after these vicious, vicious attacks to his spine. But you do back up with a shoulder tackle. Kick through the arm, picking Lauren back up now. Ooh, running in. And Choo Choo with a say hello to my crotch. Goes directly in for a pin. One, two, and Lauren kicks it after two. And Choo Choo, folks, cannot believe it. He thought he had it. He thought he had it with that say hello to my crotch from out of nowhere. And Choo Choo now going outside. Oh, and Choo Choo's got wood, in the literal sense, meaning table. Now back and forth in the corner they go, ooh, big boot there from Lauren. And Lauren with a shin breaker. Just then Choo Choo over, and now applying an ankle lock. Will Tokyo Choo Choo tap out here, folks? Ooh, the pain, excruciating. Oh, but Choo Choo manages to get out of the ankle lock. And another say hello to my crotch to Lauren. Goes in for a pin. One, two, and Lauren again kicks out. And Choo Choo thought he had it with that one, folks. Now Choo Choo, folks, exiting the ring. Looking for yet another weapon. Ooh, he's got a kendo stick. Oh, a direct shot to the head of Lauren. And Choo Choo throws the kendo stick out, saying, I don't need that anymore. Now cutting Lauren against the ropes. Oh, close on outside. It looks like Choo Choo wants to fly. But Lauren back into the ring in a close line. Oh my god. That was vicious. Choo Choo never saw it coming at all. And the L train now with the Hebrew hammer. Rolling over Tokyo Choo Choo going for the pin. Referee slow to get down. One, two, three. There you go, folks. Your winner and new legendary champion, Lauren Baumgarten of Epic Battle Axe. And folks, coming up next, continuing on, folks, all titles on the line here today. Next up is the Open Tables Challenge from DC Redire. Who will step up to the plate? Who will answer the call? See you in the next match to find out.
And folks, it is Sam Landry who has answered the open challenge here tonight. And DC Redaya already taking him down. And folks, you are not seeing things. Both of Sam's legs have been replaced by cybernetics, just like Mike Chalice lost his right arm and was replaced with a cybernetic one due to their uh, time in that cyborg world being captured, tortured, brutalized. I'm also being told that Sam is now wearing that mask. And oh my god, Sam still got some moving and grooving attitude to him though. Uh, he's wearing that mask because his face was horrifically burned as well when uh, being captured. And oh my god, what a super kick. DC Radia rolling right out of the ring. Getting back inside now. Knee to the gut of Sam. And Sam with a snap suplex to DC Radia. Folks, I'm sure when DC came here tonight, he was not expecting to face Sam Landry, folks, who has not been seen in an OGW ring in almost a year. Well, not a year, but half a year, several months, since the last August, yes, when like apocalypse happened, and oh my god, Sam getting hit with a super kick there from DC Redaya, now the champion going outside, folks, grabbing a table, he wants to end this quickly before things escalate, oh, Sam though, fighting back with a hard right hand, jawbreaker from DC Redaya. And a fireman's carry taken in there from Sam. Went for a kick to the gut. Oh my god, what an injury, folks. And the power behind that. Sam has those vicious metal legs now, folks. You get kicked by one of those, you may be out for good. DC Rodaya fighting back. Big shots to the gut. Now throwing Sam into the table. <laughs> Sam now tossing DC Rodaya into the ropes. Both men trying to grab one another. Sam getting hold of DC Rodaya though. Hits him against the table. Sam Landry folks. Hurricane run on DC Rodaya has been put through the table. Your winner and new tables champion from the LWO. Sam Landry folks. From out of nowhere here tonight, returning to the ring and winning the title. And coming up next, we've got the tag team title match. See you shortly.
and here we go folks with our tag team title matchup the Justice Avengers versus the LWO the lag world order and as we just saw in the previous matchup folks their tag team partner and friend Sam Landry returned to the ring tonight and captured the tables championship and now Matt and Mike try to do the same for the tag team titles but they are going to have to get through the superheroes of OGW the Justice Avengers in order to do so oh a strong right hand from Matt but Berchin getting out of it and attacking oh my god what a vicious kick there from Matt I tell you folks ever since they returned they have been nothing less than vicious the LWO uh, we saw them a couple weeks ago and Matt going for a pin Fairchild kicking it before the count of one uh, oh my god folks reckless abandonment there from Mike I think he took out Matt, uh, Matt more so than he did the dork knight with that drop kick going for a pin now one no, not even a two count. The Dark Knight kicks out. Fairchild rolling out of the ring. And now, folks. Oh my god, there's a leg spike from Mike. And he goes in for the pin. One, two. And the Dark Knight kicks out. Fairchild back in the ring. Going right after Mad Matt. Too many M's from the river. And, oh, a nice moonsault there from Fairchild. And Barrington now going to the outside looking for something underneath the ring. Of course, folks, this is an Extreme Rules matchup. And he's got himself a ladder. And, oh, Matt! Or, yeah, Matt, we just... <laughs> I'm going to get so confused between Matt and Mike. And, oh, a nice back body drop there from Matt. And Mike going right after Barrington. A reverse DDT to him. Folks, I tell ya. Look at this, a big knee drop there from Matt. The LWO folks have been on a tear since they came back. No, no remorse whatsoever. Matt now into the ring, waiting for the Dark Knight to get up. Now running in and, oh, I lose that press. It's a hard right hands there. Meanwhile on the outside, Barrington with a suplex on the mic. Oh, a big knee shot there from the Dark Knight to Matt on the inside of the ring. Let's, let's focus our attention there, but Barrington on the inside has a ladder, and he decides not to use it. Waiting for Mike to get up, and Barrington rolling in. Oh, a nice wheel barrel stunner there from Barrington, but he's got to get Mike into the ring to pin him. Oh, slamming Mike right off the turn post. The Dark Knight on the inside with a clothesline. And another one. And oh my god, what a leap that was. Ducking underneath the clothesline. And another big lariat. And Barrington, folks, tried to pin Mike, but Mike got out of it. Oh, that Mike, folks, with that massive forearm smash with the metal arm. Being perfectly allowed here in OGW, but then again, folks, our CEO, the owner of OGW, Lord X, has been nowhere to be seen while he's been recovering from injury, I should say. And oh my god, Matt coming out of nowhere there to attack the Dark Knight. And now applying a vicious, vicious ankle lock here onto the Dark Knight. Barrington back into the ring to break that up. Big elbow smash to Barrington. Mike tried for a pinfall there. And Matt now. Oh my god, there's the beard breaker. Goes for the pin. But the Dark Knight breaks it up. And the Dark Knight with a justice driver. And that just busted Mike Chalice wide open. He's going for the pin, and a beard breaker there from Mike, from Matt, to Barrigan. Mike, folks, kicked out of the pinball attempt from the Dark Knight. And now Matt, folks, dragging the Dark Knight to the center of the ring. He's going to take him for a swing here. Barrigan, folks, focusing on Matt, or Mike, 
And Mike with a German suplex to Barrington, and Barrington rolls out of the ring. And Matt going for a pin. One, two, three. It's all over, folks. Your winners and new tag team champions, the Leg World Order, folks. The LWO capturing more titles here tonight. Outlaws Unleashed 3 has been their night, folks. A statement of their return here today. Look at that vicious elbow. Anyways, folks, we'll be right back with our Hell in a Cell match, which uh, I will not be commentary on, as I will be preparing for our main event matchup. So sorry for those expecting commentary for that matchup. I'll see you in the main event.
And it's now time, folks, for our main event matchup and a suplex from Izzy to Alexander right away. Hit Mango standing back, letting his uh, opponents just deal like punishment to one another. And Hit Mango now face planted into the floor, and Alexander Ertz grabbing Hit Mango right away. Tries for a suplex. Mango blocked it, but Alexander gets him up anyway. And now going right back after Izzy. A double hook suplex there. Hit Mango trying to headbutt Alexander Ertz, but Alexander wisely dodging out of the way and now takes down Hit Mango. Jawbreaker from Hit Mango. Catches the foot and takes him down. The champion now on the ground and being put into a one-legged Boston Crab and Izzy folks just standing back and watching. Hit Mango busted out of that. Izzy tried for an elbow drop but missed. Now Hit Mango just applying pressure to the head but Izzy fighting out of it. And oh look at me have athleticism there from Izzy but Hit Mango adjusting his weight into a cross body. And a kick right to the spine. Alexander now in the ring. Haunting. Waiting for his opportunity to strike. And hit Mango though. Oh good god what a face plant. Picking up Alexander but Alexander was ready for him. Picks up hit Mango. Throws him into the corner. Poking him in and oh Izzy just jumped in and attacked out of nowhere. And another double hook, no! Try for a double hook suplex, but Alexander managed to adjust his weight and reverse it. And a Russian leg sweep there from Hip Mango. This is the thing about a triple threat match, folks. Hip Mango doesn't even need to be pinned here to lose it. Oh my god, Alexander Arch just a plancha right on the Hip Mango. That was incredible. I was going to say. Hit Mango doesn't even need to be pinned in this matchup to lose. Is he now being draped across the ring? Nope. Alexander running through the ropes. Looks like he was going for the creative differences, but stopped by Hit Mango. And there's the eat defeat. And Hit Mango now waiting for Alexander to get up. Izzy is back to his feet, however. Saw it coming and decides to attack Hit Mango, throws him into the ropes. Big drop kick. And Izzy going right after Alexander. Ooh, hit Mango though, fighting back. Alexander on the outside now. Izzy going for a suplex. Hit Mango reversed it. Kick to the gut. And here it comes, folks. The contract negotiation. D D T. That could be it. That could be all she wrote. Goes for the pin. One. Two. No! Is he getting a shoulder up? Now Alexander fired up back into the ring now. Oh, and a swinging neckbreaker from Alexander Ertz. Picked up Hit Mango again. Shot to the face and a flip over face buster. And is he going in for a pin broken up by Alexander? Look like Alexander wanted to hit the creative differences there, but is he stopped him? Shot right to the back. Oh, clap to the ears and a takedown from Alexander. Hit Mango back up to his feet now. And another eat defeat to Alexander Arts. And Izzy is laid out on the outside. Hit Mango getting ready. Ready to nail Alexander now with a contract negotiation. And he does it. That could be all she wrote, folks. Hit Mango now going for the pin. One. Two and Alexander kicks it and folks I have to note this as well we have had five matches here tonight before this one and we have found new champions in each one first the legendary title was vacant but champions have lost their titles in the other four matches so Hit Mango has to be worried here that the pay-per-view luck may continue and he may be out of a title here tonight Izzy now taking down Hit Mango, applying a arm lock, adjusting more pressure and taking him down. Hit Mango now rolling out of the ring. 
Alexander walking right into a fist from Izzy. And Izzy now with a double hook. Slam and into an arm bar. Well, Alexander Arts tap out here. No, Alexander gets out in a vicious punch to the head of Izzy. Izzy with a shot of his own. He tried for a scoop slam, but Alexander blocked it. And Alexander now. Power bomb into a pinfall. We've seen this before. One, two, three. No, Izzy kicked out and now into a boxing crab. Hit Mango just concerned and he finally breaks it up. He was a bit confused there on what to do. Oh, massive headbutt to Alexander. Goes in for the pin. One, two, and Alexander kicks out of it. Aaron hit Mango now looking again. Izzy is knocked out on the outside. Shot to the gut. He locks him in, and it's a contract. A negotiation. Izzy finally making his way back up to his feet. One, two, three, but it wasn't fast enough. Your winner and still OGW World Champion, Hit Mango. So congratulations to Hit Mango, folks. And But, folks, I'm hearing something happening in the back right now. Apparently, Turnip was on his way out to the ring, but he is being viciously attacked in the back. We don't have a cameraman back there, but... What? Who? Who? Oh, folks, uh, folks, I'm hearing right now that Turnip is being attacked by the LWO backstage in the parking lot. Uh, meanwhile, here in the ring, folks, Hit Mango is starting to celebrate. He is none the wiser that his tag team partner is being brutalized in the backstage area right now by the tag team champions and the tables champion. Well, there you have it, folks. Whoa, folks, the light, lights have gone out here in the arena. Oh, my God, the LWO right now are in the ring attacking Hit Mango. Oh, good God. Oh, a vicious baseball shot. Baseball bat shot. Hit Mango, though, trying to fight back here. Oh, but that bird tried another shot. He got taken down. This is another two-on-one situation here, folks. This is not good for our champion. And, oh, my God, look at the... Just pure strength there of Mike Chalice. And a spine buster from Hit Mango. Of the referee trying to get some control over this situation. This is this is not right. And a gotch pile driver from Mike Chalice. And a knee right to the throat. Folks, the tag team champions here tonight making a statement against the OGW World Champion and a backbreaker. This is, this is, folks, you may not, no matter how you care or don't care about Hit Mango, this is, this is not right at all. Nobody should be subject to a two-on-one attack like this. And Hit Mango, we gotta give him credit here. He is fighting back as best as he can against these two. And my child with a fireman's carry take and look like every time Hit Mango, folks, it's a bit of momentum here. He just gets shot down by the members of the Lag World Order. It's just, oh, a knee right to the face. Trying to push him away. And, oh my god. Oh, and a vicious elbow shot there from that mechanical arm of Mike Chalice. And, oh, good god almighty, that vicious. Vicious forearm shot to the face. And Matt Bird now with a massive... So oh, Hit Mango got out of dodge, but he didn't avoid the elbow. Oh, and a twist over backbreaker there from Matt. Now shot right to the gut. Oh, folks, how will this be resolved? What are going to be the implications? From Tuesday throwdown we still don't have our CEO back we have no GM she's been on vacation and oh look at this double team here right now oh and there's the leg spike and look at Matt sitting on the top rope just watching the destruction being dished out here to hit mango 
now into a massively twisting dragon sleeper here from Mike Chalice. But hit Mango, folks, continues, continues to fight back. And again, folks, this is a two-on-one situation. And now again, another double team from the Tag Team Champions. An electric chair drop. And now this is how, folks, the LWO won the tag team titles. A massive big swing from Matt Bird. Ooh, takes him down hard. Shot to the gut. Oh my god, what a side powerbomb there from Matt. Or, yeah, from Matt. Shot right to the face. A uh, double hook suplex. Mike now talking to the crowd while Matt just waiting for Hit Mango to get up. And there's the beard breaker. Folks, this this is too much. It looks like their attack is finally over. Thank you so much for tuning in to Outlaws Unleashed 3. And I will see you. I probably won't be here on Tuesday Throwdown again this week. I do apologize for that, but I will see you in the future. Hope you tune in to Tuesday Throwdown to see what comes of this whole entire situation. See you then, and good fight, and good night. -a.